It was a typical sultry Thursday night in New Orleans. If I'd have known that phone call was going to change my life, I might have answered it myself. You gonna answer that? You answer it. I answered it last time. So what? You're the dame, you answer it. Homicide, Detective Perrette. We're on our way. Let's go, dick. Oh, seriously, you're not gonna wear that, are you? My name is actually Peter. The call came from a gen joint called Hurricanes. Seems someone got blown away. Ah, what's with the trench coat, Colombo? I told you you look <laughs> stupid, dick. So what do we got? Ah, a room full of speed daters, and nobody's seen a thing. Speed daters? Who's the stiff? It's uh, Anthony so-and-so. I guess he's the MC. I guess he wasn't any good. It wasn't adding up. This guy shot in front of a whole room of witnesses, and no one saw anything. I knew the only way to eat this gumbo was one bite at a time. The first course was a kid named Jeremy. As usual, things were going well. Meaning? It was a very uh, target-rich environment, if you catch my drift. Unfortunately, I do. But hey, as far as the MC guy, I uh, wasn't looking at him. Hey, hey, ladies and gentlemen, can you feel it? Because I can. I'm feeling the need, the need for speed dating. Hey, Mizer are up here. <laughs> I'm not looking at your eyes. I can see that. <laughs> so you didn't see where the shot came from? I told you I wasn't looking at him. I was looking at her, um... Well, did uh, you get her number? <laughs> not yet. All I remember was he was a jerk. Who? The MC guy. Really obnoxious. He had all these rules about speed dating. You get one minute per visit. And remember, ladies, when you hear that horn, you stay put and the gentleman rotate to the next table. So many stupid rules. I heard that table three. Now you listen to me, little lady. You will obey the rules or you are out of here. Now let's get back to dating action. Do you uh, come to these things a lot? No, it's my first time. Did you see who shot him? No, but I'm not surprised. So did you know the dead man? No, I wasn't even paying attention to him. Blah, 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 blah. So tell me what you were doing when he was shot. I was talking to the little chick on table number six, and uh, she seemed cool. I'm not really into sex. <laughs> I just like the color. That was it. You didn't see anything? Nothing. So, you knew the announcer. You'd think so, as many times as I've been here, but he doesn't say boo to me. For some of you, this may be your last chance for romance. What happened when he was shot? Well, I was talking to this new guy, so if you want to get lucky, I'm your gal. Ah! Oh my God! He was screaming like a baby. So you didn't see who shot him? No, I was calming my date down. So I'm guessing you're a doctor? That's right, I'm a proctologist. So what did you think of the deceased? Actually, I found him to be anal. Rules are rules. If you don't move when the buzzer sounds, you will be instantly disqualified. And what were you doing when he was shot? I was enlightening the young lady about my profession. OK, fun fact. What's the main difference between an oral thermometer and a rectal thermometer? I don't know. The taste. <laughs> so I got up. And? I thought that was the signal to move. I was in the last row. I could hardly see the blood splatter from the exit wound. I like to think outside the buns. So you didn't see him? No. But I wish I had. If you ask me, I was glad someone just shut him up. We had a lot of suspects, but we weren't any closer to solving this murder than when we walked in the door. Then I noticed a hot looking number, so hot she could melt the cheese on a ham and cheese po' boy. What's your name? Laura Schlecht. Are you one of these speed daters? <laughs> no, these are just a bunch of desperate lovelorn losers. I'm an event planner. I create these type of scenarios. Did you create this one? No, just checking out the competition. Where were you when he was shot? Um, in the ladies' room, taking care of ladies' business. 
Can I go now? Can I call you? Maybe. Yeah. Hold it, Dick. She's not going anywhere. I've got to be someplace. Not before you tell me about you and the dead man. What do you want to know? Did you know him? We were acquaintances. We're in the same business. And who planned this event? I did. It was my idea. And he stole it from you? Yes. No. I don't remember. Mind if I take a look in your purse? Ah. Well, look what we have here. I think we've got our killer, Dick. Wow. I would have never suspected her. No, you're wrong. I don't know how they got here. Cuff her and get her out of here. You can't be serious. Dick, do something. I'm sorry, I can't help you. My name's not Dick. It's Peter. For the first time, I saw my partner in a way that I'm hesitant to describe because it's kind of naughty. You did good back there. How'd you know it was her? Just a hunch. I saw the gun in her purse. Look, you want to go get some uh, coffee, donuts, talk about the case? Yeah, I'd like that, Dick. Peter. It wasn't a typical sultry night in New Orleans after all. My partner brought me to hurricanes and blew me away. <laughs>